heyspace.com. We are going to do an unboxing today of a telescope that we think may actually be the best value in telescopes for the money. This is the Astronomers Without Borders One Sky 130. And you see that it comes in a box that says Celestron. That's because Celestron has partnered with Astronomers Without Borders, a nonprofit, to produce a telescope at Celestron's cost that will fund education in uh, overseas nations. So not only are you buying a great scope for yourself for a great price, almost half of your purchase price of just about $200 goes to fund astronomy education overseas. It's a really exciting concept. It's a really cool scope. Let's unbox it and see what it looks like. No amateur astronomers were harmed in the making of this unboxing. You know this trick, right? Do the side ones first so that you can lift up a little bit on the flap so that as you make this incision across the top, you don't scar the inner box just in case you have to send it back or in case you want to give it as a present. Keeps the inside box pristine. I think what we may do is let gravity help us here. Turn this around so you can see it. So there is what I am looking at. A nice thick piece of foam cushion on top. And inside you can see that the scope is basically set up almost ready to go for you. One box inside. And that is our Starfinder. It's not a finder scope. It doesn't magnify, but it'll be perfectly okay for finding targets. Three eyepieces. Two of them are the optical eyepieces you'll use for observing, and one of them is used to collimate the scope. And they are pretty much the standard kit that you get with telescopes in this range. A wide-angle eyepiece of 25 millimeters which is going to bring the telescope up to, I think, 26 power magnification. And then you can step up to your high power eyepiece, which is a 10 millimeter eyepiece, and that's going to bring the scope on up to 66 power. They are so-called uh, Acromat format, standard eyepieces, basically what's known as Kellner optic design. This extra eyepiece, the collimating eyepiece, is to help you do what you need to do with reflector type telescopes from time to time, and that is to collimate the mirror. And now the one sky itself. I'm going to take off this little bottom piece here. And stand it up. Isn't that pretty? Immediately you can see that it's a standard rock and roll table, altitude azimuth style mount. I'm just going to roll it around, take the tension off that a little bit so I can lift up on the optical tube to remove that piece of cushion. And then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this plastic on the bottom so we can see the scope by itself. You notice that if I lock this up, it comes with a handle. Fairly easy to one hand. Scope weighs just about 14 pounds, just under six and a half kilograms. And it's quite small enough to throw on the seat of a compact car or even on the lap of a passenger in that compact car, as long as you belt them both in. So it really is kind of a grab and go scope. Here's the most wonderful thing about this telescope. 
It's just 15 inches long, 38 centimeters long, so nice and compact. I'm going to take off the front cap here. It's a truss tube style Newtonian reflector, so just back off these screws a little bit, and then you push gently the mirror array out. And that gives you the full 26 inch working focal length. So it's a 66 centimeter focal length telescope. Let's go ahead and put our eyepieces on, at least one. I'm going to start with the 25 millimeter wide because as a common practice, you really should start wide and then zoom in. Get those set screws out all the way. There we go. Take off our cap. Peel open the eye guard. Those of us who are eyeglass wearers, particularly those who are nearsighted, I'm farsighted, but for folks who are, are nearsighted, will particularly enjoy that this eyepiece has a lot of eye relief. You can really set your eye exactly where you need to to get good focus. And I'm going to go ahead and set up the finder. Yeah, looks like a screwdriver is going to be in order. So I'll just back those off a little bit and see if that does it for us. There we go. Move around to where you can see it. And we'll just snug those up a little bit. And there we have it, rather quickly, our Astronomers Without Borders One Sky 130 has set up and is ready to observe. So, 130 means 130 millimeters. That's just over five inches of aperture. That's very large for a telescope in this price range. A lot of light gathering power. Simple truss tube design means there are not air currents that build up inside the tube to distort your vision. So the scope will equilibrate to ambient temperature very fast. It's designed to be used in many, many different parts of the world. So you can immediately see why we think this might be the best $200 telescope that you will ever find anywhere. The benefit of having almost half of that purchase price go to a very worthy cause, Astronomers Without Borders and their good work, I think puts it over the edge. So if the Astronomers Without Borders One Sky 130, it's made by Celestron. And when you pick up this scope, you will be empowering astronomers around the world as you are bathing your own eyeballs in glorious starlight. And for Space.com, I'm Dave Brody. Space.com.